Hi. Hello. Welcome to Outside the Cover Zone. We're talking about things you probably shouldn't talk about. My name's Justin, and this is my stupid, ugly co-host, Ashley. How are you? Oh my god, I'm so excited <laughs> to be here. Uh, uh, so she's a guest for today. We usually yeah. don't do this with her. Yeah, usually um, it's with that bitch, Ashley, who's so hot and attractive. Yeah, but this time it's just with this ugly hoe. Ashley. <laughs> named Ashley also. It's her twin that we're named the same yeah. thing, except for she's... How depressing would that be? She's stupider and... <laughs> I'm great. Actually. I'm great. So let's let's run through Patreon really quickly. And I guess we can do that. Yeah, weeks. sure. Because yeah. I, have, I have stuff to actually talk about. I have stuff to talk about too. Well, I have my important things. Lena. Lena Raw 75. Our Instagram is Lena Raw 75. I got MK Nicole. I'm Megan. Megan Nicole K83 is her Instagram. We got Bethany, Bethany Drake. She sings Titanium and stuff like that. Uh, Melly, Melly the Kitten. Instagram is Melly the Kitten. We got Patrick Pochislam. And he's uh, Irish. We got uh, From Switzerland. Alex Maynard. Uh, Bubbles. Her Instagram's Alex Maynard zero nine. Uh, we got Sandra G. Look at me, I'm Sandra G. Uh, we got Sarah Michelle, Sarah MB dash five. Instagram Sarah three six nine two. Michael's awesome and Laura's awesome. All right. So what is Patreon in Patreon's ten this... words or less? Okay. That doesn't count as a word, right? No. Okay. <laughs> okay that counts though. It's uh, website, you can give us money and dicks. <laughs> Please donate more dicks. Um, yes, I need, I need more dicks. If you want to tip us and hole. possibly get us to fucking VidCon this year, then Patreon. And also you get rewards back, like shout outs, you can get Skype calls. And uh, if you guys have any ideas for other rewards, let us know because we're always willing to add more stuff that doesn't really take us a lot of time to do. I'm not willing to do that. I am because I'm the better one out of the What is this? That's a lip mask because I got this lip gloss this week and I got Okay, this isn't your main channel. Let's just like... I got a horrible allergic reaction to it and I woke up with like bumps all over my lips and it looks like I have herpes all over my lips. It's probably because of all those dicks you were sucking. It's probably because of all the herpes I have on my mouth. Yeah. But... You can't hide lip gloss no. with herpes. I mean, you can't you can't herpes your lip gloss and then make it look like less herpes. Uh, now I'm like putting lip masks on because like my lips are fucked. Even though they're not really because I was like, oh, Justin, like look at my lips and how much herpes it looks like I have. And he's like, I wouldn't have noticed if you didn't tell me that. Yeah, your whole face looks disgusting all the time. So, so. it's like the same. It's like, look at my face doesn't have oh. herpes anymore. <laughs> it's like, what? Uh, what? Doesn't really make a difference. Looks oh. like it. So, uh, <laughs> you know. Make sure yeah. that you don't get allergic reactions to lip gloss. This is the first time anything like that has ever happened, and it's really not good. Make so. sure you don't have herpes. <laughs> get well, yourself checked. Were you allergic to, like, the whale sperm or something that they put yeah. into it? Yeah. No, you can't be allergic to sperm. Let's <laughs> be honest here. Sperm it, grosses me out. You would like, have if we're being honest, herpes it everywhere really, really if you were grosses me out. allergic to sperm. <laughs> is that how herpes works? Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah, so what we're going to talk about first is we're going to talk about um, arachnids. Yeah. No, what did you want to talk about? Okay, I wanted to talk about this party I went to last night. Okay, I want to know every single detail of oh it. Oh my god, I'll tell you every single detail. Okay. So, I went to this party last night. Where was the party? At Jess's place. Where's that? It's Can I get an address? Town. Yeah, you can. I'll give it to you later. Okay, um, actually I know where it is. So, do you really? It's like 30 seconds from my house. Oh, oh yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Dip so, shit. I go in here and... Go in where? To the party. Oh, you said here, so I might. I thought your room. <laughs> I go in here. You're going to make this really annoying, right? No, no, you're good. Just, okay. just enunciate and please explain <laughs> it better because these people are going to be more confused than me. Okay. I'm a lot more intelligent than most of the people watching this. So I go into Jessica's house. Okay. And there are several people there. People. People there. <laughs> there are people there. <laughs> so there's there's me, there's Jess, there's her brother, her boyfriend, her um, her cousin, and then there's some people from her work. And Where does she work? Uh, she works at a car place. I don't know. Okay, yeah, cars places. <clears throat> cars with uh, the cars. And cars the cost less than Wetaska win. That's true. They always have and they always will. Cars cost less than Wetaska win. Um, so I go in there and then everyone's drunk because I get there at like 11 and I'm not drinking because I have to come and film this at the butt crack of dawn. And The butt crack of 11. dawn. <laughs> it is 11. I've been up for a long time. And, and uh, I was drinking all last night and all yesterday. Today, Yesterday was my birthday. <laughs> And I was drinking all day. I was yeah. on white app for the gay pride parade, and it was hilarious. How was that? It was awesome. Okay. Everyone was freaking. Okay, I'll tell you about that after. Okay. You go. So go to this party, and one of the guys from her work. They're trying to like double. No, I don't. Double, want to team, say double you. team. They're trying to double team. They're trying me. to like wingman each other. 
Except they both want to like end they, up making out. They wanted the to spit roast you, <laughs> and they did. And that's what happened. That's the story. <laughs> that's why you have so, herpes. <laughs> Can you shut? <laughs> yeah, sure. Go for it. So, <clears throat> so this one guy. I just want to put a PSA out to the gentlemen watching. That what does you PSA wrote. stand for? Public service announcement. Okay. Announcements. Uh, announcements. I I think I said that wrong. <laughs> I want to put a PSA out there to the gentleman watching that you don't flirt with someone by doing the whole, like, uh, negative compliment thing, you know, where being like, oh, you're so cute, and I was like, because he said it to me, like, he had presented me with this gift by telling me that I was attractive, like, congratulations, I find you attractive, you're fucking welcome, enjoy the rest of your life with this gift that I just gave you, so I was like, yeah, I know, thanks, and he's like, I mean, you're not that cute, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, whoa, you've never been given a compliment before, have you? And I was like, excuse me? He's like, you clearly don't know how to fucking take one. And I was like, okay. So Be I like, need to... bitch, I know how to take everything. I, I have taken everything. In every hole. Everywhere. Including compliments. Including in compliments. In my butt. <laughs> and you know what? Step the fuck off. Like, I understand you're drunk, but I just, I just want to let everyone know that a compliment doesn't have to be the fucking end-all closer. And then this other guy was sitting there being like, yeah, like, this girl that I fucked, like, right in front of me. He was telling this to me as he was trying to, like, put his arm around me and, like, make out with me. He's like, yeah, this girl that I fucked, like, she just got really clingy about it and it was, like, so weird. And I was like, like, you're gross. I don't touch me. What are you doing? And then I had to sneak out to my car so no one would, like, follow me out to my car. They were, I literally waited till both of them had left the room so I could sneak out and, like, dash to my car. <laughs> like, and then I just, like, fucking drove away. Like, usually I'll sit in my car for a minute and, like, prepare my things and get my iPod playlist out, but I fucking, like, zoomed. It was a zoom at 1 a.m. Zoom, 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 zoom. It was a zoom, 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 And now I'm going to go back there next weekend and get hammered. Why? Well, if you get hammered, you're going to make out with everybody. I do have that problem, but I will not make out with those two because they bothered me. You will make out with anything that moves. No, I don't make out with people who frustrate me. Like, there's always a couple people at a party who, like, I think are gross people, and I always, like, don't make out with those people. And that's, like, the best thing I ever do. But everyone else, like, all the other ten people there. And there was this girl who wanted to punch me in the face because I was talking to this guy that she had a crush on. Like, everyone was like, okay, don't go near her because she wants to punch you in the face. And I was like, I have fucking done nothing! I haven't done anything! What are you talking about? Like, it's, ah! It's probably because she could tell that I'm a bitch. That you were an awful a person, big yeah. Um, and then there's She's this like, other ah, girl who like didn't like stuff. me because I dated her ex when I was 15, and we made amends last night for her not liking me because I dated her ex when I was 15. That's and good. She's like, I forgive you, and I was like, okay. Like, <laughs> you're real drunk. You're probably gonna still hate me tomorrow, but I appreciate the. Apology? I don't know the, what this is. The gesture of... <laughs> of not hating me and wanting to, like, kick my knees in anymore? I don't know. Kick my knees in. Oh, uh, this like, is what you get when you live in a small town that towards has Towards each of, other? Like, garbage. Incest. <laughs> yeah, and incest. Lots of incest. Lots, so much incest. Especially where they live. Lots of incest. That whole group is so incestuous, and I've totally taken part in it. Like, there's, like, ten people in that group, and everyone fucking dates each They've other. They've all dated each other, and then yeah. there's, like, siblings that are just like, yeah, let's let's get it on because everyone else is. And then it's like, now we have a baby. Oh, no. <laughs> what are we going to do? What are we going to do now? And let's then, like, raise the baby. Let's raise the baby. And then we could date the baby. I live, like, 30 seconds down the road in, like, a nice neighborhood, so it's, like, <laughs> I'm, like, hey, niceness, and then I keep dropping, and I'm, like, oh, there's them, and they're all, like, oh, like, one has, like, one arm, they're, like, yeah, hey, let's have sex with parents, and, oh, yeah, it's uh, fucking weird. I fucking, but, like, Jess, Eric, and Brandon are, like, the normal ones, Yeah. and I fucking love them, because they're great. Like, Jess, Eric have been dating for so, like, they're just the best people. They're so good. Like, I love them. There's somebody driving in your backyard again. Oh my god, why does everyone do that? Oh man, dicks. You're gross. Okay, what else did you want to talk about? Uh, no, that's it. I just complained for a little bit. Got my quota out. Oh, there's also more people. I made a video talking about how, like, gay people, there's nothing wrong with them, and people who think homophobia is okay are stupid, and everyone's like, um, actually, like, you're really stifling their opinion, being homophobic or racist, like, they have a valid right to their opinion. Wasn't that, was like, like, four weeks ago? Yeah, that, that was that? also four weeks ago. So people are still fucking morons, update. I'm obviously extremely homophobic. Clearly. Because I went to the gay pride parade yesterday. I wanted to go. Uh, Actually, we didn't go. We went, like, right after the parade because it was, like, insane during the parade. Uh, But pretty much because we planned to go down to White Ave, which is, like, a a road 
like the an avenue in Edmonton where like all of like the bars are on. Everyone has like patios and there's like nice shops and stuff. So everyone just goes down there in the summer when it's nice out. Uh, but we we're gonna go down there because I was like, it's my birthday. Uh, Friday night, I went to the TV show I'm working on. The they had a rap party because they finished yeah. shooting, so I went to that and that was a lot of fun. Um, and then I woke up on Saturday and I was like, okay, it's my birthday. I don't really want to do too much. Let's go to White Ave. Um, and then like before we were going, my mom like texted me. She's like. Hey, you know the Pride Parade's going on right now, right? I was like, fuck, it's going to be so busy down there. I was like, okay, let's just go anyways. So we all went down there. We were walking around. You see, like, the weirdest-ass people. And it's so funny. I wish I had went. I oh, man, people go, go so bad. bad shit crazy down there. Everyone was hammered. Everyone was wearing, like, crazy rainbow suspenders and, like, underwear. And, like, they're all just, like, running around. And That seems like so much fun. Oh, it was awesome. It's like the, I, okay, I'm going next year. I think we should have a meetup at the Pride Parade next year. Yay! Um... Pretty much so, yeah. We went and like sat on patios and drank a lot of beer. Mm. Drank a lot of beer, ate a lot of wings. Isn't and... today Trans Awareness Day? Because I think I it was like know. Gay Pride Parade and then Trans Awareness Day. But like, go Edmonton for being so like... Oh, there was crazy. There was so many people in like drag and stuff going down white. I saw pictures like, you know, Erica, she posted a bunch of pictures on Facebook. Who's Erica? Erica. She's like super like... She posts a lot of feminist stuff on her Facebook, which I think is great. Feminists kind of annoy me sometimes. You said that in a much more serious tone this time, so I feel like people will take that more seriously. Like, I just hate them. It's like, oh my god. Just, like, get over it. And Christian's like, ugh, piss off. <laughs> um, JK! Uh, but, not, but not about the but not about the Harry Potter thing, but about the uh, feminist thing. Because feminists uh, do kind of annoy me sometimes. Um, anyways, yeah, Especially me, right? Yeah, I hate you. No, you're not really feminist. People that, like, try and preach feminism to me, I'm like, oh my god, fuck off. I get it. I'm not treating you any differently than a dude. I fuck a dude. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so we were in this, uh, we were in this, like, pub, and my mom needed to go to the bathroom, so she, like, started walking, and they had to, like, go down these stairs to go when we were in Hudson's, and we had to go down these stairs to, like, get into the bathroom, and she, like, walks down, and she's, like, walking, she's, like, following this lady into the bathroom, she, like, gets into the bathroom, she, like, turns around, and there's, like, urinals, and she's, like, is this the guy's bathroom? And then the guy turns around, he's like full, like blue sparkly dress with a wig and everything. He like turns around, he's like, oh yeah, this is the guy's bathroom. He's like, I love fucking with people. And my mom just like started laughing. They had like a conversation in the guy's bathroom about like drag and how, how fun it is to dress up as like the opposite sex and oh stuff. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah, my mom just like thought she was going to the girl's bathroom and then she ended up that she just like followed this dude into the guy's bathroom. And then had like a huge conversation. And then had a conversation about that's it nice. and how funny it was, yeah. No, it was it was fun. It was a good time, and then uh, and then we went back to my place and sat on uh, my deck mm -hmm. uh, with a couple people and just drank, mm -hmm. and we played um, lazy beer pong. Mm -hmm. Is that where you're just like sitting down? Yeah, you all sit around a table and you just have one cup each. <laughs> you just try and get in each other's cups. Perfect. Hey, speaking of games, we still have to do Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> hey, I found that. Cards Against Humanity. Can I rub my hair on the mic and make it seem, make it like sound weird? I was making some sort of noise. It's making as much noise as me speaking. And then I speak and it's like, Bleh! I'm so sorry you can't oh hear me. Oh my god, me. look at that, I can make it peak. Oh my god. Look, I can just make a block of sound. Oh my god. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, oh, what if I can like, do like a, I'm gonna see if I can do a fish. <laughs> that kind of looks like a fish. Stingray. It looks like a stingray. Here, wait, wait. Okay, I'm so sorry. I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, and we're done now. It's like getting there. I'm trying to make a fish. I made a stingray. That was pretty cool. No, that looks like a bird. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. We're... <laughs> Wee wee wee. I'm gonna look up some topics because I tweeted out. Oh, Jess just texted me and was like, "That guy that you were talking to last night wanted me to give you his number," and she texted me his number. I'm gonna delete that. And then just delete it. Um, but what was I talking about? Oh yeah, and then we just like yeah, we didn't do much. Uh, t today in like an hour, I'm going to Bam. the Banff World Media Festival, which is gonna be very fun. Um, I'm going there for until Wednesday. Who are you going with? Uh, with a guy who also got a free ticket from school. Mm -hmm. It's just me and him that got them. Mm -hmm. So I'm going down with him. And down there, there's going to be like thousands of people. Uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be so tiring. So pretty much what you do is you go to seminars from like 
7 in the morning till like 6. Mm -hmm. And then you go have supper. And then you go out to the pubs and the bars and Banff and you drink with all these like film industry people. And you like get contacts and like start drinking with them and like get all buddy buddy. Oh my God. And then like until like 2 or 3. And then you go to bed and then you wake up at 7. And you're like, let's go to seminars for like 4 days. Holy shit. It's going to so, be insane. Next week's podcast, we're going to have stories, right? Yeah. Super stories. Hopefully. I also have some some cool news but i'm not allowed to talk about it yet oh like really cool news like really really like cooler than me getting a job cooler than me graduating cooler than me going to bounce so after the camera's off and you now is off i think that would be funny if we turn off the camera and forgot you now is on and, and you're like oh my god oh my god it's <laughs> this oh yeah i forgot that you now is even on hey guys hey um yeah so it, it's pretty cool okay it's like um, really cool but i just i'm not allowed to talk about it yeah, yet. yeah no even to you even when the cameras yeah, are off no. Let's do speed I'm round. Winking. Let's do okay. speed round to get okay. some uh, get some shit going because I got a lot of speed round questions. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay. I just got a shit ton. Holy okay. ball Whoa, sacks! There's so many. Open the drawer next to Ashley's bed. I bet that's where her sex toys are. They're not. It's I've, not actually. I've been in there. They're different places. Um, are four vibrators really necessary? Don't they all do the same thing? Different sizes, bitch. Uh, do you take a vibrator with you when you go to your uncle's? No. <laughs> Ew, no. Um, does he have one there for you? <laughs> Ew, no. Does he just go? <laughs> Um, These aren't questions. <laughs> I was um, like, who the fuck would ask me that? Uh, last time you had an orgasm. Oh my gosh, that's so fucking cool. Uh, most time you've ever masturbated in one day? Like two? Isn't the best time to masturbate during the day when nobody is home? Sure. Do guys compliment you on your tattoo when they're banging you doggy style? <laughs> no, not not yet. Unfortunately, we'll have to get there. Best fanfic you've recently gotten? Oh, fuck. Okay, there's this one Lexi wrote, and I can't remember what it was about, but she literally made a fucking Tumblr for it. Like, she made a Tumblr that only I and her can have access to, and haven't been <laughs> on it in, like, four weeks. But, like, she was posting all of this, like, porn, and it was just, the amount of time that you put into that was fantastic. Okay. Uh, thoughts on bestiality? You know, pretty hard against it. Would you do it? No. <laughs> I have. Have you? Just a bit. Mm. Just the tip in a bowl once. In a bowl or a bowl? Both. Hmm. It's a bowl of bowls. <laughs> There's it's a bowl, a bowl of, of bowls. It's a balls of balls. It's the ball. Ball is life. Serious question. Okay. Why is Ashley such a slut? <laughs> that is a question. <laughs> fuck you. Uh, fuck what you heard, baby boy. What's the difference between dominant and sadist? Dominants just have the power, right? Sadists enjoy inflicting pain. Do you master date? Never. That's slutty. Mm. Master dating? Yeah, that's gross. How much do you wish you had a different, hotter partner for the part for the podcast? Oh, I think that's for me. She's saying that you're ugly and I'm awesome. Um, Megan, why? Would you ever have sex with a girl who's on her period? That's for you. Oh, I think that's for you. <laughs> ever surprised a guy with a landing strip? No, not really. Like, surprise! Like, <laughs> just, Pubes. I go see them at work and everyone's around and I'm like, surprise! <laughs> uh, best fans, for, mm, why don't you wear thongs or D-strings? Who says I don't? Who says Justin doesn't? He probably does. I has. do all the time. He's wearing one right now. The like, only time... shit his pants. I am going to shit my... Oh, the battery's about to die. No, it's not. You gotta change the battery. It's gonna die. That's not what that means. Oh, let's do Fuck, Mary Kills. Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. have some? No. Okay, <laughs> I'm just going to come up with them. Okay, I'm going to see if anyone asked any. Hey, on you now, ask us some. Uh, right Megan now. Fox. Yeah. Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. And Leonardo uh, with the Ninja Turtle. He's the one with the purple thing. Oh, good. Okay, that makes a difference. Um, mm. Donatello's the one with the purple thing. Oh, fuck. Leonardo's the one with the red. Oh, gross. Um, no. So Leonardo is the blue. No, Raphael's the blue. Michelangelo is the red because he's like Mikey. Let's do Michelangelo. Okay, so he's like the party one. Oh, ooh, yeah. ooh. okay. So but he's short. I'm gonna I'm gonna marry Shia LaBeouf because I feel like that would just be a ton of adventures. You know, he'd just like, do it. Do it. Just do it. <laughs> just do, do it. it. Just do it. Just yeah, that's the face. Just do it. <laughs> do it. Every time somebody tells you you can't do something, just. 
Just do, do it! it! If you guys haven't seen that video, go watch it. It's fucking <laughs> like, hilarious. What the fuck are you talking yeah. about? Just him standing on a green screen screaming. Dude, what is that for? Nike. <laughs> What I want to do is take that video, because you can key out the green screen really easily, and just put him, like, in my bedroom. And just have him, like, standing there, just going, just do it! And then it's a shot of me, like, <laughs> him going, just do it! Jamie's like, I don't really feel like having sex tonight, Justin. He's like, just do it! Just do it! And he's, like, standing beside my bed. Oh, I should make a video like that. That'd be fucking hilarious. Please do. If it's just, like, I'm just, like, she's like, no, not tonight. I'm like... Oh my, seriously, Justin, make a fucking vine. Make make a vine. That would go so viral. Oh, I should. Do it. Do it before this goes live. Do it. Do it. Oh, I have to. You have to do it. Okay, you have to get Jamie to be like, Justin, just not tonight. And then the, just do it. Just do it. Because all I need is like a shot of like, we need like a shot of a bedroom. And then I could just like green screen him in so easily and have him just be like, just do it. Yeah, Jamie saying oh, that, you looking disappointed. And Shia LaBeouf being like, just do it. And she's like, She's like, oh, that's hilarious. We should fucking make that. Okay, no, do that. Because if I don't do that, then when this is going to go live. Someone's going to do it. You have to do it. Well, somebody's on you now right now doing it. You guys don't do it. We copyright that shit. Yeah, fuck you, fuck you guys. <laughs> um, That's fucking hilarious. That's the best vine in the world. That would be so funny. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it. Do it. Just do it! That'll be the only Vine on your account. But people will be like, do you remember that I think vine? I have a Vine account. So do I. I, I think I made one followers. just... Really? I have made a fucking Vine in my I think life. I made a Vine account just so that nobody else would take my Vine name. But I haven't posted anything on it. What's your Vine name? I don't know, the same as everything else. Justin VFX? Yeah. Okay. I think that's what it is. Let me go check. Actually, I might just make a Vine account that's just like Justin Curry. Yeah, you should do that. Do it! Just, just do, do it! it! <laughs> <laughs> and then every single Vine will just have Shia LaBeouf in it. <laughs> uh. Not even saying anything, just like his fucking face up here. <laughs> yeah. Um... Okay, so I would marry Shia LaBeouf. Okay. <laughs> I'd just do it. And then I would... I. So you wouldn't do it with Shia LaBeouf? No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't just do it? I would I would just do it in different ways, you know? Oh, like oral? Yeah. Herpes? Okay, yeah. what's next? I'd give him dick herpes. And I just want to make it very clear that I don't actually have herpes. It was an allergic reaction. <laughs> fuck, fuck, marry, kill? Um, I would fuck Megan Fox because, as we have previously discussed, I'm not into bestiality, and I, I guess I would try to kill Raphael, Donatello, Mike, Mike Michelangelo. Michelangelo. <laughs> I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't be able to, but I, I would try. Might as well try. I mean, yeah. it's Might, it's not going to happen. Just, yeah. You would definitely die, though. That's the thing. So this is what I would do. I would kill Megan Fox. She's super easy to kill. <laughs> I've thought about it a lot. Uh, actually, no, I wouldn't kill Me Megan Fox. I would kill Shia LaBeouf. Why? Because he's sweet. Because um, he's sweet. And I don't want to ruin him with my penis. <laughs> um, I would marry Michelangelo, the Ninja Turtle. Of course. Uh, and I would fuck Megan Fox. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't know if I would. Probably not. I'd rather just kill them all. <laughs> I'd rather fuck that. Shia LaBeouf, marry Shia LaBeouf, and then kill Megan Fox. And not even have to worry about the Ninja Turtle. Just fuck him. Okay. Um, I have a new one. Okay. Okay. Just do it. Okay, uh, Morgan would, Morgan fuck, Freeman. Just do it, yeah. I would fuck just. I would I would marry do and I would kill, kill it. Kill it. Yeah. Okay, so we got Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Eddie Murphy. Mm-hmm. And Adam Sandler. Oh fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um I would just because of Daddy Daycare, I would <laughs> marry Eddie Murphy. <laughs> uh, and Shrek. Um I already know what I'm doing. This is so easy for me. I would I feel like Adam Sandler would make a bunch of like. Who was the first one? Morgan Freeman. Oh, okay. I would. In the land before time. Please. I would fuck Eddie Murphy, marry Morgan Freeman, because I would hear that voice all the time, and kill Adam Sandler. I would do that exact thing. Okay. I would kill Adam Sandler easy. Yeah, I feel like he'd go down easy, and he'd be like. No. I would just, I would just kill him because he's insane. Um, and then I'd marry. I don't know if I'd fuck Eddie Murphy. I would fuck you could, Morgan like, Freeman. Blow his, you could blow him. No, know? I'd fuck Morgan Freeman. Because he'd be like, yes, Justin. The March of the Penguins. Uh, didn't Oprah do the March of the Penguins? I'm pretty sure Oprah did the March mm -hmm. of the Penguins. Anyways, uh, and then I would I would, I would, would marry Eddie Murphy. Okay. I, Morgan I Freeman wanna, has so much money, though. I would want to hear Morgan Freeman's voice in my everyday life. Just like, yeah. Ashley, I loaded Good the morning, dishwasher. Good morning, Ashley. I unloaded the dishwasher. Thank you, Morgan Freeman. You're welcome, Ashley. I only want to see you happy. Like, I'm so happy with you, Morgan Freeman. Um, Would you call him Morgan Freeman? You'd never call him yeah. just Morgan? No, I'd be like, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> this I is my him. husband, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> I 
don't know if you know who he is. He's like kind of a big he's guy. like kind of famous. They're like, oh no, we don't know who he is. He's like, my name's Morgan Freeman. They're like, They're like oh, oh my god, god my you're the guy who's narrated every documentary ever. That guy. Oh yeah. Okay. That's my husband. You do a fuck Mary kill now. Okay, so you're gonna fuck Mary or kill. Um, do you know anyone from Fault in Our Stars? Okay, no, you say an, uh, you say a name, and then I'll say a name, and then you say a name. Okay. Um. And no, I don't. Catherine Heigl. What does she look like? Again? She's blonde. She was in um. Ugly Truth. Yeah. Okay. Catherine Heigl. Oh, Gerard Butler. And Mary Poppins. <laughs> okay. I would fuck. Catherine Heigl. Who wouldn't? Mary Gerard Butler. Yeah, who wouldn't? And kill Mary Poppins. Yeah, I'd fucking kill Mary Poppins so easily. <laughs> but she has that magic bag. She might be a witch, you know. No, I'd murder her. Hmm. Um, okay, how about this? We need something that's like harder. Okay. Um, how about Kate Middleton? Mm-hmm. Oh, I like her so much. George Bush. And Steve Irwin, if he was alive. That's not hard at all. Really? At all. Mary Kate Middleton, fuck Steve Irwin, and murder George Bush. Okay. I think I might be on some FBI yeah, watch now list. You're now you're on some watch list. That, freaking... Like, she's gonna kill George Bush. As soon as you, like, say George Bush and then the word murder, it's like, <laughs> boom. There's like a huge red dot over your house. <laughs> on my forehead at all times. Yeah. <laughs> like, fucking make a move, bitch. <laughs> I'm um, Canadian. You can't do shit. Yeah, they can't. They can do whatever they want. <laughs> That'll be a news article in two weeks. Y- young YouTuber Ashley Hackman turns up dead mysteriously in her Turns home. up dead mysteriously after saying she's going to murder uh, the former president, uh, George W. Bush. I'll just make it very clear. I'm not having any intention to kill George Bush. I think he's a complete and total moron, totally responsible for nothing. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it was an inside job! It was an inside job. It was him. He flew the plane. I saw him. Parachute. <laughs> He parachuted into uh, the Taliban area and, and hid there for a couple weeks. That's the most offensive thing that we've ever said. He then uh, started the Holocaust. Rumor. <laughs> <laughs> he started the rumor that the Holocaust happened. <laughs> um, okay, uh, what were the three people again? I Kate Middleton. Like, I just about to dribble out my coffee. Okay, wait, wait. I would, I would marry Kate Middleton. I have chin sweat. Because I want to be a king, right? Yeah. That's how it works. That's not how Fuck you. I want to marry Kate Middleton. She has two babies. Are you ready for that responsibility? I would. Well, that's true. No, I would marry her. And send the kids off to boarding school. I would fuck George Bush. <laughs> just to say that I fucked George Bush. And then Stephen's already dead. So, I mean. <laughs> at least you wouldn't have to kill someone. At least that's I wouldn't nice have to kill him, right? I um, really like Steve Irwin. Okay, how about this? A horse? <laughs> <laughs> a, a beaver and a cow. Um, not a horse. I would marry a horse, because then you could ride it around places, and it's like transportation too, right? Um, That's understandable. I guess I would fuck a beaver. Really <laughs> beaver is another word for vagina. <laughs> and I, I would kill a cow and then eat it. You would kill a cow? And then, well, I wouldn't kill a cow. I'd like. I would definitely marry a beaver. Really? Yeah. Why? I would kill the fuck out of a horse. Why? H- horse people are insane. Go check out podcast number 33 for more. Is that? I don't know. I don't know. There's there's a podcast about crazy horse bitches. I think it's actually called like crazy horse people. I think so it is I'll too. Yeah. If you own a horse, you're batshit crazy. Um, yeah. So I'd kill a horse just so that there would be one less crazy I horse bitch. I would never kill a horse. I wouldn't want to kill any animal. I would just let them all live in harmony and not fucking actually no. them and just marry them all. See, I don't want to say that I'd kill a beaver, but I totally would because we were totally shooting at beavers at the golf course because they're pests. It's legal to kill beavers here because they're fucking everywhere they're and they, like they get into all your shit. like a national animal or some shit, right? Yeah, it's like having a fucking squirrel as a national animal. Actually, beavers are pretty noble. But still, I would kill a beaver because they're pests. I would marry the fuck out of a cow. Probably already going to. Huh. <laughs> I would suck a cow's dick. Um, and then I would definitely murder a horse. Wait, no. no I'm killing two animals now. <laughs> what, am I fucking a horse? Oh shit, no, I don't yeah, want to fucking... See? I don't want to fuck a horse. That's why you're fucking a beaver, because you're not going to die from a beaver dick. No, I'm going to fuck a cow. Are you fucking it, or is the cow going to fuck you? Either No, cows are all female, so I would be fucking it. Okay. Cows are female. I'm going to sneeze. You knew that, right? 
even right. the smallest music. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So yeah, I'd fuck a whore. Oh, wait, who was I fucking? I'm marrying a <laughs> horse. All of them. No, I'm killing a horse. I'm marrying a cow and fucking a beaver. Mm. I got one. Okay. Okay. Johnny Depp. Okay. The Rock. Okay. Vin Diesel. Okay. I would fuck the shit out of Vin Diesel. Yeah. Okay. I would marry Dwayne Johnson. Mm hmm. And I would kill Johnny Depp. I would fuck the shit out of The Rock. I'm so attracted to him, it's not even funny. I would marry Johnny Depp because he has so much money. You would kill Vin Diesel? I wouldn't want After to. After what happened to Paul Walker? <laughs> Oh my god! You Satanist! Satanist? You Satanist, bitch! Yeah, you're Satanist. Like, I don't want to kill him. As in the him. devil. I don't want to kill him. I would kill Johnny Depp. Well, if I needed to. For survival. If I needed to, to marry Vin Diesel? Wait, no, who was I fucking? I was fucking Vin Diesel. You're, no, you I married was marrying, Vin Diesel. I was marrying The Rock. No, no I, would, I married Vin Diesel. Well, yeah. Yeah, no, he's sweet. I mean, he's a sweetheart, but did you see The Rock do all of his shit ever? Because he's great. Yeah, that's why you fuck him. But the person you settled down with is Vin Diesel, because he's just, like, such a good person. No. I mean, he is, but The Rock is such a good person. I'm on Team Rock. I'm on Team Mary Rock. I'm on Team Diesel. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Team Diesel. Mm -mm. Hashtag, hashtag Team Diesel. Send see this video to The Rock and Team Diesel. See, every... Every fan of Fast and Furious ever would say that they would marry Vin Diesel because he's such a great person. I mean, he's a good person, and so is The Rock, and so is Johnny Depp. I mean, they're all good people. Well, Johnny Depp was like hookers and blow. No, he doesn't. He's going to die eventually anyways. Because <laughs> The Rock and Vin Diesel aren't. <laughs> no! Can you ever see Vin Diesel dying or The Rock? Like, no. I no. think they're going to like punch Death in the face and be like, no. Yeah, they're going to be like, fuck like you. That. No. Like, Ugh. The Rock would just like take... Death. Death by the head, like lift him and just up. Just lift him up. Be like not today. And just like lick his face. And then Death would be like, "Oh my god, I love you." Oh my you. god, I love you. Don't have to die yet. And then he would kill him, and Dwayne Johnson would be dead, and Vin Diesel would be like, "That's for no. family." One last ride, for family. And he'd hold his Corona like really tight. Be like, oh. In case it like slipped out of his hand. For family. I really need to see that movie. For family. I had a really in-depth conversation last night. About how this girl cried in the theater of Fast 7. It went on for like 20 minutes. She's like, I cried. She, no, but she just kept telling me for 20 minutes. Like, it was so sad. Everyone was hammered and I cried. And like, let me just tell you, I don't usually cry, but oh my, I cried. And everyone was hammered, see, but I cried. Everyone that has ever gone to see that movie has cried. I'm sure I'm going to cry. But you haven't seen the first six, have you? I've seen four of the six. That doesn't count. I like the movies. I like the people in the movies. And I think it's emotional just because, you know, Paul Walker was a good person. You have to start from the start and work your way through or else you won't fully understand Maybe it. Maybe when I'm done Spanish, I'll just really settle down and watch all seven. People parts. like you make me want to kill my, my friends. I can live with that. Yeah, because... If you don't fully understand, like people that are like, yeah, I saw Tokyo Drift and then I saw Fast Five. I'm going to go see the new one. I'm like, fuck you. How about you die instead? <laughs> okay. You'd be like such a horrible world leader. It would be so, so bad to live in your world. Well, especially that like, I understand what goes into making these movies. And if you just like ruin their lives, but like, okay, how about this? What's your favorite TV show of all time? Buffy. Yeah. I watched one episode of Buffy, and then I watched the season, uh, like, nine finale or whatever, when everyone dies, and I was like, oh my god, this is so sad. Yeah. You don't understand sad. it unless you watch all of it. Okay. It's the I same see, thing, so I kill see, yourself. I see your point. I agree with you. Just do it! Just do it! Please stop shitting Just on do my it. Bed. Stop shitting on my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't do it! Just poop it! <laughs> Just poo it. Um, okay, so what's another fuck, Mary kill? Um, oh, we could do people from town. <laughs> oh, boy. Fuck, Mary kill. Uh, Haley, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, kill. <laughs> um, uh, um. I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> this is getting so real. Okay, we're not gonna do people from town. <laughs> yeah, just. Because I can't think of anyone else. Kill! Kill! Again. Just kill everybody. That's it. Um, okay, no, let's do, uh, let's do world leaders. Okay. Oh, wait, let's do, like, ex-world leaders. Can we do Hillary Clinton, Obama, even though he's not previous yet, and, um... Clinton, Obama, and Joe Biden? 
Sure. Sure. Yeah. I would fuck Hillary Clinton because she's the only female. I would marry Obama and then kill Joe Biden. Yep, same. Okay, that was pretty easy. We should probably get off world leaders because we're going to be on a watch list. Let's go to Disney characters. Okay. Timon and Pumbaa. I knew you were going to start with fucking animals. And um, Simba. Um, I'd marry Simba because then I'm queen. Well, I'm not sure that's how it works. Um, You're a human. That's pretty much how it works. <laughs> You're a human. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would... And plus, I, I just want to, like, be able to pet a lion and not have it kill me and also not have it be under, like, super sedated drugs where it's just like, oh my god, kill me. Um, so, I would marry Simba. Okay. I would... Which one's... Pumba is the The warthog, hog. yes. So, I would... You would hog the hog? I would, uh... I guess. I guess. You're gonna kill Timon? No... Uh, he just, he can watch. <laughs> Who are you going to kill? No one. This is not how the game works. Oh, okay. Whoops. <laughs> I'm going to kill the shit out of Pumbaa. All right. Why? I'll fuck Simba and marry Timon. Why? Because. Why are you going to marry Timon? Well, I'm going to marry Timon because he... he has a great personality. Simba's kind of a bitch, so I'm going to fuck him and make him my bitch. And then Pumbaa, I'm going to kill because he's a warthog and he probably tastes pretty good because I like fucking bacon. And he's kind of annoying. Um, okay, let's go Princess Ariel. Who's that? Notice how I don't give you animals. Um, Who's that? Ariel is the Little Mermaid. Okay, the Little Mermaid. You could have just fucking said the that. The Little Mermaid. Okay. Snow White. Who's that? The one with all the dwarves, right? Yeah. Yeah. Kay. And uh, Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty's kind of a dumbass. I'm going to kill her. She's just laying there like, kiss me. Oh my God, if you kiss me, I'm going to suck your dick. Like, Jesus. As if you don't want that. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, fuck off. So I'll <laughs> kill her. Um, That's the loudest noise I've made in the past, like, two. ten minutes. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, the Little Mermaid. So who am I killing? No, I killed I killed Sleeping Beauty because she's mm. useless. Uh, like, do the laundry and shit. Don't just lay there. Um, I would... No, I would marry Snow White because she, like, she knows what's going on. She has her, like, minions that can help clean the house and shit. Sure. And then I would... Uh, Fuck Ariel and I would her totally, little fish body. Yeah, I would totally fuck the Little Mermaid. She has a great body. Yeah, those. Except for her, tail, her hips are like this big, because that's what um women should look like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, like who doesn't look like that? Um, okay, literally just asked you so many fucking good questions and you didn't answer a single one. We're uh filming a podcast right now. So, uh, we're uh, a little busy. Okay. <laughs> um, so take that and just shove it up your assholes. Um, I have a small dick. How could I grow it? And it's fully shaved, so that helps a little bit. Um, you can't grow it. What you gotta do is learn how to use it. Yeah. Okay. Isn't the best, uh, ever... People send me the same, I wanna play with your booty hole. Fuck what you heard. (laughs) Fuck what you heard. Fuck what you heard. Best Skype sex experience. I've never had Skype sex. I've never had phone sex. I think, like, text or come... To me in person and let's have sex. Is your name Justin Steven Steven Kerr? <laughs> <laughs> Justin Steven Steven Kerr. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, you're so open about porn. Do you use the incognito slash delete your browser history or do you not care? I mean, I have my own computer that no one else uses. So. I got something exciting. What? Uh, I'm moving into an apartment at the end of August. Mm. For sure. For sure? Yep. Yeah. We, I'm going to talk, well, my sister has already talked to her landlord and we're taking her place because mm. she's moving out in August. So that means I'm moving into the city. Done. Done. Let's do it. Well. You know what we should do? What? We should go to LA. Yeah. Go to Vidicon. Yeah. Go to Universal Studios. Yeah. Go see Chris Pratt. You know who Chris Pratt is, right? Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah. New yeah. Jurassic Park, Jurassic World movie. I got hooked up on the last name Pratt because there was a Spencer Pratt on The Hills, and I was like, what? Oh, my God, The Hills. That's something that we all watch and we all so care about. Anyways, we're going to go see Chris Pratt. Okay. Are you, are you Googling Chris Pratt? <laughs> I'm Googling Spencer Pratt because I want to know what he's up to. <laughs> 
you are completely useless <laughs> as a human being, and I don't enjoy you in my life whatsoever. <laughs> He's still married to Heidi Montek. Who's Heidi Montek? His wife. <laughs> well, I understand that. Thank you. That's what marriage means. <laughs> We're on the hills together. I was like, what is, like, near my vagina? It's my lip gloss. All right. Um, oh, fuck, it's too early. Okay, so are we going to talk about the Kardashian-Jenner? We did that last week. Oh, we did that last time. Okay, so wait. VidCon. Realistically, do you think you can go? No. I sent you what John said, right? Yes. Still can't afford to go. Just a plane ride, then. Yeah. It's not that expensive. And food. Well, and drinks. Well... So and the ticket correct. to actually go to VidCon? That's only 100 bucks. 100 bucks is more than we've made on this YouTube channel since we started it. So make sure that you share this <laughs> podcast, and if you want to get us to VidCon, uh, go to Patreon, please. If there's please. enough money to cover us going to VidCon by the time it comes around, I will 100% go. And it's really only for Justin, because I will, like, I'm going to have my own Patreon, so, like, pay for that for work, but. I don't have any money. I'm moving out in August. Get a job. I have a job. I'm working full time now. Is except, that exciting? Except, except for this week because I'm going to Banff. Yeah, fuck, fuck your job. I wish I, wish I was getting paid to go to Banff. There's like four people in the office that are getting paid to go to Banff. To go and listen to seminars and drink. And, and drink all week, yeah. That'd They're getting paid cool. to go do that. That'd be a cool part of your job. Yeah. I really feel like I'm so quiet today. No, that's what it's like all the time. But it's, I need to see, the yell. thing is, is like the mic needs to be like. Okay. Hey! Oh, hey! Hey! Oh my God, you guys! I'm so loud right now. It's super in the camera. Doesn't this look way better? Do you like my Do you like my voice? No, they don't. That's Where's why. Going? That's why we put it towards me more. <laughs> so there. That's like pretty that's, close. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad, but right. except for it's in the camera. But and, and now this is like gonna be ended in the next like five minutes. Yeah, now it's gonna sound good for another five minutes. Another five minutes. You got it. You got it. Okay, I'm going to go to Twitter because we did ask for topics. Okay. Um. I'm just going to give the worst ad- Let's see how bad of advice I can give. Oh, this oh, is going to be fun. I have lots of faith in you that you can give really bad advice. Okay. Okay. So, uh, remember what you were like. Okay, well, that's not that's not. Oh, come on. Give me something here. Uh, that's fucking not. You guys, that's not a question. I'm just staring into the camera. Just give me something. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. I'm ready. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. I'm on it. Here we go. Okay, I'm already. Just shoot whenever you need to. <laughs> Just, just go for it. Okay. If you could have sex with a great guy, any guy, who would it be? Um, what you should do is have sex with every guy. How do you get over a breakup? Um, you fuck the person you just broke up with and try to get back together with them. What do you do for cramps? Um, what you do is you, you uh, stretch yourself out mm. and you don't go into a ball and you just period as much as you can. <laughs> just period. Period. Just squeeze it out. I want that to be the thing on the on the thumbnail. Just period as much as you can. Um, <clears throat> what's the story behind your username, Younging19? Um, she used to be a straight up blow hooker as a man, <laughs> and they used to call her Younging because she was like fourteen. Yeah. And then she became a woman, and then she was like, "I'm nineteen now. I'm gonna make a YouTube channel." Um, is it wrong to like my ex's friend? No, you should have sex with your ex and his friend <laughs> at the same time. My boyfriend's dick is really small and I accidentally made a face the first time I saw it. I hope I didn't hurt his feelings, but he's only like three inches. What do I do? You should tell him how small it is and how embarrassed you are about it. Um, <laughs> um, how have you been doing in your exams? Really shitty. I've been doing really well in my exams. Thanks for asking. Um, what do you think about the death penalty? Should it be legal? I think if anybody should get the death penalty, it should be everybody but rapists. They should be able to stay alive and free. Do you believe in God? God is not real. <laughs> like, that's the only thing <laughs> Um, what do you think is the oldest age a woman should be allowed to have a child? Uh, she should only be allowed to have a child between 12 and 18. <laughs> After that, your arteries have all clogged up, and your fallopian tube is fucked. <laughs> oh my god. Favorite song is of 2015? Um, Bad by Michael Jackson. <laughs> Am I too young for a bikini? No. If you're Nobody a... is ever too young for a bikini. <laughs> if, if I'm 13, should I still masturbate? Yes. Is it weird that I'm a lesbian, but I don't like lesbian porn? Yes. 
What do I do if my boyfriend randomly asks me for sex, but I'm not ready because I haven't shaved? Do it anyways. Um, it doesn't matter if you're comfortable, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> What's foreplay? Um, it's where you do uh, four different plays uh, before you have sex. So you have to do um, butt stuff, oral stuff, uh, neck stuff, and knee stuff. I'm afraid of peeing on my boyfriend when we're having sex. Just pee on him and then be like, how do you like that, bitch? <laughs> you and your three-inch penis. Slap him in the face. And slap him in the face. Pee on his face. Do that. All um, guys like that. How do you give a good BJ? Um, you just With your teeth. Yeah, bite a lot. Lots of teeth. Um, I want to have sex with my boyfriend, but I'm shy about being naked in front of him. What do I do? Get over it. <laughs> doesn't matter if you're comfortable. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're comfortable. Just do it. Um, okay. I'm trying to, like, skip the ones where people are like, this is, like, really serious. And... <laughs> just ruin their lives by giving them terrible <laughs> advice. I'm excited to go back and scroll through the you now and see what people are People are, are like, oh my god, he's the devil. Oh my god, I hate him. Okay. Okay. Devil's a pretty sweet guy. What's the last thing that made you smile? Getting out of my house. Um, I saw a little girl fall down and scrape her knee. <laughs> fall down. Fall down. Fall down. And my And it made me smile. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? So this guy asked me on Snapchat if I would give him a blowjob, and I was like, yeah. An hour later, I said it was a joke, and I think... And I think and feel like he got really mad at me for joking about it. The truth is I'm scared to do shit. Does he have a right to be mad at me for that? Yes. You should, if you say something, you have to follow through with it. Always. No matter if you're uncomfortable or not. <laughs> um, do you have an innie or an Audi? I have four Audis. <laughs> um, I'm in college and working for my boyfriend's parents' company. Me and him aren't working out, but I, and I want to break up with him, but I'm desperately dependent on this job. And his parents are going to fire me if I break up with him. I don't know what to do. Start hooking up with his dad. <laughs> Tear apart their family. <laughs> uh, home wreck it. Home wreck it. Oh, oh home no. Home wreck it, Ralph. How else do you get over a breakup? <laughs> um, you just try and get back together with them. You don't let them go. And then marry, fuck, kill. Oh, God. Who? Who? Oh, Okay. Britney Snow yeah. from Pitch Perfect, the blonde, or the redhead one. The one who's like... Oh, she's really hot. Yeah. Okay. Anna Kendrick. Oh, my God. And who else is awesome? And Je uh, Jennifer Lawrence. I know you don't like her. Okay, I, I kill know. Jennifer Lawrence right off the bat. Not an issue. I would kill her even if I didn't have to do this game. Um. I might just go and do it later. I would marry Anna Kendrick. Because her personality is freaking hilarious, mm. and I would fuck Britney Snow. Okay. All right. Because she is insane. So. In the membrane. That's what we did today, guys. We fuck, married, and killed. We can probably just call this one fuck, married, kill. Fuck, married, kill. And terrible advice. Um, I would like to really quickly remind everybody that if you do have an extra dollar to five dollars, and you want to see extra videos, and you want to support Put the it in show, my ass. then Patreon is down below. If you in have any ass. topics you want to send to us, then our email is down below, and email our uh, PO ass. box is down below as well. If you want to send us anything, to put in my ass. Um, and yeah, let's see if we can get Justin to go to VidCon. I'm like ninety percent going. I have ass. a ticket. I just need to find a place to stay. In my ass. In Justin's ass. And um, I'm almost done my Spanish course, so next week I'll probably be really drunk on the podcast because I'll be celebrating for the next month <laughs> that I finish this fucking course. <laughs> In my ass. Mm. Mm. I found out this really cute guy in my Spanish course has a girlfriend, and I was like, well, fuck you. In my ass. They live in your ass? Are they there right now? This is so embarrassing that he knows. Ooh. There they are. <laughs> um, no, that cute guy in your Spanish class? Yeah. He's gay. He doesn't like you. I know. You don't look like much of a man. Maybe you should more. Mm. You used to. <laughs> <laughs> like a couple hours ago. Couple okay. Hours ago. Uh, uh, let's end this video. Yeah. Um. Thank and, you extremely you know, much for watching. So much. Extremely. So much more than Ex extremely. Extremely much like for watching. Like more than what Justin's saying. Like on my part. Like. Like so take much. what Ashley's saying and shove it up your ass. Yeah. And kay. then thank yourself that much. And then thank yourself more than that. Yeah. And thank you Jeez. again 
Uh -huh. two. Thank you again to Lena, Megan, Bethany, Melly, Patrick, Alex, Sandra G, Sarah, Michael, and Laura. Thank you guys so much for your support. And those other people. And the other people who said I was horrible last week. No, all of all of you watching. You guys are great. Uh, Sarah, and Emily, uh, Patrice. Patrice. Um, Jordan. Matt. Erica. Noel. Yeah. I used to have a neighbor named Joel. I used to have a dick. <laughs> but not anymore. Not anymore. Um, so thumbs up. Share this video around. It really, really helps get the word out, guys. Our views have kind of been slacking lately. It's because of you. We're not going to go to VidCon if we can't get more views. In your horse face. So, okay. Thanks for watching. We love you. Bye, everybody. Bye. If you live on a, a, if you have like a corner lot in town, like if you live on a corner, you're not allowed to bring, you're not allowed to build a snowman over 30 centimeters tall. For sure. Why? I don't know, but that's a law. I think it's fucking hilarious because they're scared of like Frosty the Snowman coming back or something. What? Coming back? <laughs> I don't know. Like it was a thing for a while. It was